Hey, Tom here from The Run Testers with another Versus review. In this video, me and Nick are going to be talking through two shoes designed for speed. That is the Socony Endorphin Speed 2 and the 361 Flame. Let's take a look. The 361 Flame costs around £150, it weighs in at 233 grams or 8.2 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is 8 millimetres. The Socony Endorphin Speed 2 costs £155 or $160, it weighs in at 232 grams or 8.2 ounces for men in a size 8 and the drop is also 8 millimetres. The 361 Flame is a lightweight carbon plate race shoe designed to produce a fast heel to toe transition, high energy return and more efficient running at speed. The upper is made from a lightweight mono mesh with reinforced sections for added structure. There's a modest level of padding around the ankle collar for comfort, a lean tongue design and a healthy level of outsole rubber to protect the midsole foam. The Socony Endorphin Speed 2 is the follow-up to the popular speed, designed for versatility over everything from daily training runs all the way up to race day. It sits between the Endorphin Shift for slower training miles and Socony's high-performance race shoe, the Endorphin Pro. It has a full-length nylon plate that combines with the Power on PB midsole foam for a responsive ride, features Socony's speed roll technology to propel you forward and has an engineered mesh upper. As well as a form fit design to ensure a lockdown fit, there's an XT900 outsole to add grip and protect the midsole foam. So when it comes to the fit, I found that both of the shoes fit me very nicely in my normal size. They've both got a good amount of room in the toe box and they hold really well around the kind of heel and midfoot. I was a bit worried that this kind of design at the back here of the flame would be a bit too loose and I'd have some heel slippage, but that hasn't happened at all on any of my runs at any pace. So yeah, all good, true to size. The fit for me in the Socony Endorphin Speed 2 is true to size, definitely wouldn't size up or down in this shoe. But what I would say is that I did find it quite narrow and I don't normally have a problem with narrow shoes. Um, I did find that on the outside of the shoe, it felt a little bit uncomfortable to begin with. It, it feels fine now, I've done about 70K in this shoe and um, after a few runs it sort of went away. But those first three runs I did find it to be quite a narrow shoe but I would stick true to size with it. The 361 Flame, also true to size, it's pretty much identical in fit for me for the uh, Speed 2. It Again, I did find it a little bit restrictive around the midfoot, but I definitely wouldn't size it up or down in this shoe. And I, to be honest, I found it more comfortable than I thought it would. Judging from the upper design, I did think that it was going to be an uncomfortable shoe. There's a minimal amount of padding on this shoe in comparison to the Speed 2. Um, and I did think that I would have some problems with rubbing, uh, especially when the first time I wore it was for a half marathon, which uh, I'd done without ever trying this shoe out before. So I was a little bit worried it was going to rub, but the upper is completely fine. There's, there's ample padding it's hidden around the upper of the shoe. So I did find it very comfortable, true to size. So the Saucony Endorphin Speed has been a long-term favourite of mine throughout the last two kind of generations of the shoe. I've used this for pretty much everything from 5k races, short hard track reps to long easy plods and I love it for kind of everything. I think it's the most versatile shoe out there in the kind of comfort it has and then the speed it has. It's not got a bouncy bouncy feeling underfoot but it's got a really nice cushion protective ride that's very swift thanks to the speed roll technology that kind of really rolls you through your foot strike and gets you going on your way with a little assistance from that nylon plate in there. So obviously it just eats up all your kind of tempo runs, it's really good for speed sessions and kind of steady runs as well but I think it's surprisingly comfortable for easy runs and just does a great job across the range. When it comes to those kind of all out paces it performs very nearly as well as a full carbon shoe whilst having that extra versatility of being a training shoe. I think one run that really stood out in the Endorphin Speed 2 for me was uh, like a week before my last marathon I did just 10 miles steady uh, based on heart rate near me and it just yeah it's just really efficient shoe and just the speed I was throwing out for the effort level just made me so much more confident ahead of the marathon the fact that you know this was my steady pace in this shoe because it is such an efficient lively shoe that really helps you run at your best so yeah I do think it's a pretty much a fantastic shoe all round and it's very hard for anything to kind of challenge it but the 361 Flame has come in lately and I've done about 50k in it now and I think it's a really good impressive shoe I have to say like I think we're going to compare them to the speed purely as a speedy shoe because it's not great for easy runs it feels a little bit unnatural it's not got the versatility of the speed but if you're looking the speed you know main job is a fast trainer if you're looking at it like that the 361 flame is a bit of a challenger to it so the foam feels a little bit similar to the touch as Saucony's Power Run PB uh, even though it's a PU foam rather than PIVA um, and it's got a firmer feel than most carbon shoes but obviously the geometry you can see and the look of it is very 
reminiscent, let's say, of the uh, Nike Vaporfly, and you do get that much more of a kind of tippy forward feel with the shoe and a kind of snappy ride as opposed to the kind of smooth roll you get from the endorphin speed. So I've done a few hard workouts of it, including kind of a couple of classics of my coach, which is one is two sets of 3K uh, at 320 pace with five hill reps after the 3Ks. That was my first run in the shoe. We've got a first run video up where I talk a bit more about that workout and how the shoe felt on it. But yeah, it was really comfortable, protective and speedy, like, you know, really held me hold the pace in that second hard 3K on tired legs. Since then I've done a track workout in it, running kind of 2K and 400 meter reps, and it was absolutely tipping it down that day. And I have to say the grip was very good on what was a flooded track. Um, and I was, yeah, I was really impressed actually. It's not a lot to this outsole it seems, but it did grip very well in the wet on that run. And I've also used it for another favorite session of my coach, which is to go run a hard park run and then run another 5K a couple of minutes afterwards, two minutes slower than the park run. So I did the park run in 16 dead in the Adidas Takumi Sen, another very good shoe. And then I pulled this on to see how it would feel running at, you know, a pretty hard pace. It was around 335k on tired legs, and yeah, it felt really good. I have to say, the pace came very naturally, very easily. Heart rate stayed a bit lower than I'd expect. It does kind of all the things you want a carbon plate shoe to do. It's just a bit heavier and probably a bit more durable than most full-fledged racers, which is why it's more priced up against something like the Endorphin Speed. I've also used it for kind of one longer run that got a kind of towards 20k of hard running, and it was comfortable for that as well. So I think all round, you've got a very strong kind of fast trainer racer option here in the Flame that you know puts it in the category with the Endorphin Speed, even though this is a bit more versatile. So we picked these two shoes because they are similar in many ways. The 361 Flame is actually marketed more towards being a race shoe. So as you probably guessed from the design, it looks a little bit like the Vaporfly, it's, I think it's fair to say. Um, and as a result, it's a shoe that's really targeted towards racing and, and really running at those top speeds. Whereas the Saucony Speed 2 is actually more of a daily shoe that is veers towards the faster training efforts, um, but you can use it for lots of different things. But what I found about the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2, and I'm sure Nick will talk about this as well, because we have made no attempt at hiding our love of the Speed 2. It's It's been one of our favourite shoes, if not at the top of the list, for quite a while when it comes to daily training and versatility over those runs. And the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2 is just fantastic at pretty much everything. Uh, what I would say is that it for me, it, you can use it for daily training miles. It's perfect for that. You can use it for faster runs. You can even use it for races if you want. I wouldn't go for this shoe if I wanted to just go for all out comfort. If I was gonna go for a run and I just wanted to go nice and slow, I wanted to enjoy the run, I wanted to get a lot of miles in and with my legs feeling really comfortable with minimal impact, I probably wouldn't go for this shoe. I think it veers more towards the mid to faster training efforts, um, but isn't doesn't particularly excel at slower efforts. But what I will say is that if you want one shoe that can do everything, maybe doesn't excel in every area, but can just tackle everything, the speed is just fantastic for that. It's it's just got so much propulsion in it in, from that speed roll technology. It just rolls you forward as you're running and it just, just makes every run that you're going at a slightly faster pace on just go really, really well. It's definitely conducive to running faster. And it's also good if you're going out for a run and maybe you're not sure how fast you're going to run. You might be going out and going, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some daily training miles. You get out there, you feel great, you wanna go a bit faster. The Endorphin Speed 2 just lets you do that. And I know people that race in this shoe as well and they absolutely love it. Just because it's so efficient, it just feels like it's making the run easier to go faster at. Um, but likewise, it's not amazingly comfortable if you're going slow and just doing those easy miles as well. The 361 Flame is an interesting shoe because we didn't really know a lot about this shoe before we tested it out. It's there's a lot of carbon plate shoes on the market now and comparing them all with each other is quite difficult because they're, they're not really all designed for the same thing. 361 Flame looks like the Vaporfly, um, but it really doesn't offer that same sort of um, feel that you get from the Vaporfly. It isn't really bouncy. It doesn't feel like it's sort of bouncing and propelling you forward as you're running. Um, instead, it's a much more subtle efficiency gain when you're running in it. So what I found with this shoe is that it's actually really similar to the Endorphin Speed 2 in that it just feels efficient when you're running it. There's a lovely turnover. It just rolls you along as, as you're running and it just feels great for that. It's also, it is a fast shoe. If you um, were running a marathon in this shoe, I think it would be fantastic for that. I think it, it's, it's a great shoe for that. It doesn't offer the same sort of squishiness and bounce that you get from the Vaporfly or the A6 Metaspeed Sky and shoes like that. But 
it's not a some people don't want that some people want a firmer shoe that has a nice uh, fluid motion in it but still has a little bit of um uh, firmness to the to the midsole as well and i think this shoe really does deliver that um what i would say about it is that a shoe that I think it's it's most like is probably the uh, Nike Zoomfly range. Now I've not tested anything past the Zoomfly three, uh, but I did run in that shoe quite a lot for tempo training, and I did race in that shoe as well. It feels very similar to the Zoomfly for me. It's it's not it's not got those super shoe benefits that you sometimes associate with super shoes like the Asus Sky and the Vaporfly 2 um, but it does still feel really fast and that, that's sort of what the Zoomfly was doing it was a training partner to those super shoes um, and I think this is does the same thing I, I ran a half marathon in this uh, the Lisbon half marathon uh, before I'd ever tried the shoe out and I wasn't really sure what to expect I've been injured a large part of the start of this year so I wanted to go and do the half marathon at a pace that was a little bit more uh, enjoyable than what I'd normally go out so I didn't go out flat out on that half marathon I took it down a notch so I was probably running at like four minute 40 kilometers maybe a little bit faster than that um, and for that for that speed and for, for that distance it felt great I really enjoyed it um, and I definitely didn't think about the shoe while I was running in it. I didn't feel like it was necessarily propelling me forward and making me go really fast, but it did feel really efficient. It felt really comfortable. That fluid motion from the um, midsole design and the carbon plate just, just felt great. Lovely turnover in the shoe. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a fantastic shoe, um, probably as a more tempo training shoe. I wouldn't spend your money on this shoe if you wanted the best race shoe out there because there probably are better options. It's a little bit cheaper than those uh, things like the Vaporfly and the Metaspeed Sky. But if you really want flat out racing, I just there's just better shoes out there, I think, at the moment. Um, but what I would say about the 361 Flame is that it's a surprisingly good shoe for a shoe that we haven't heard a lot about. There's not been a lot of marketing around it in the UK. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't really expecting a lot from it. Um, so I was very surprised at how good it was, very surprised at how nice it is for running efficiently um, at a consistent pace i have done some faster sessions in this and i really enjoyed it i think it worked really well um so yeah i just i think it's a, a solid fast shoe that really tackles those faster efforts well like tempo training and would work really well with a super shoe um as a training partner when you don't really want to use that super shoe all the time and you want something that's a little bit more possibly durable uh, and just more designed for consistent running as opposed to flat out racing. So you've got two cracking fast trainers here, I'd say fast trainers slash racers, uh, and the 361 Flame doesn't suffer for the fact that it, that it is a little bit heavier than the Speed 2 on that front. So the Speed 2 is still my personal overall pick, just because I think it's more versatile, and I really enjoy the kind of smooth, very natural, efficient ride that I get from this shoe. Um, whereas this feels a bit more aggressive, a bit more snappy, a bit more kind of racy, and that's why one reason, again, I probably wouldn't use it so much in training, whereas the Speed 2 feels you can just pull it on all the time, it's gonna deliver what you need for whatever your run is that day. One thing I think makes the 361 an interesting option is that because it is similar to the Vaporfly and has a similar geometry, but just like a slightly firmer, maybe more stable and durable ride, it could be a very good training partner to the Vaporfly at the same price as the Speed. So that's um, one way to consider it. It does have a similar feel and maybe you could use this for a lot of training, then switch to the Vaporfly and you'd have a slightly closer match in terms of ride compared to the Endorphin Speed. Personally though, I would still pick the Speed for that. It's the kind of shoe I would pick as my fast trainer, general trainer to pair with like the Vaporfly and Alphafly, which are the racing shoes I probably use the most when the chips are down. So in my eyes, yeah, the Endorphin Speed 2 is still king, but the Flame is an interesting shoe that kind of shouldn't be counted out. And it's probably worth keeping an eye on what 361 does with their carbon shoes in the future, because they're coming in a little bit cheaper and the performance levels are there. Um, and this kind of PU uh, quick flame foam is, uh, has impressed me a lot during my testing of the shoe. So the verdict for me in these two shoes is that they are really similar. They're marketed towards different areas. The Zocconi Speed 2 is more daily training that veers towards faster racing. The 361 Flame is a carbon plate shoe that's focused on racing. But in reality, they're pretty similar in what they deliver. They're both fantastic shoes for running at pace. I would say that the 361 Flame is probably just tips it for me when it comes to all out speed. I would use this for maybe training runs that were focused on speed. So if I was down at the track and I was doing big reps, I would probably want to use the 361 Flame. But the Socrates Endorphin Speed 2 
it's not a lot in it. I, if I picked up either of these shoes, I'd be more than happy to do a fast training session in it. What I would say about the 361 Flame is that it veers more towards the faster side of things. So if you want a shoe out of these two that is really designed for those fast efforts where you're going pretty much up to the pace that you would do in a race, uh, but you don't want to use your most expensive carbon plate shoes, I think the 361 Flame would be a good option for that. But when it comes to versatility overall, if you're looking for a shoe that can do daily wear as well as faster efforts, Socony and Dolphin Speed 2 all the way for me. It's just such a great value shoe for what it delivers. It's got a bit of everything. And it's also, I'd probably say, a bit more comfortable. There's a bit more padding around it. It feels a bit more solid on the foot when you're running in it. Um, so yeah, Socony and Dolphin Speed 2 for me all the way. So that's it from us. Thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon. And check the channel out for all the other videos we've got from the latest road and trail shoes, as well as running watches and headphones out at the moment. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.